Hey everyone, Mike James here, Program Manager at Microsoft, and today I'm excited to tell you about, well, two things. Number one, uh, a new pre-release version of the Azure App Service Helper Library that myself and Piers Bogan have been creating. And that's got an exciting new feature, which is an, a connected observable collection. So it's an observable collection that is designed to work with Azure. And I'll show you this in a moment, but it's really, really cool. And secondly, last week my app, Bait News, was released onto the App Store. You can go ahead and download it. It's entirely free. Um, but I've also gone ahead and open sourced Bait News, as well as making sure that it uses this latest and greatest version of the Azure App Service Helper Library. So you can grab that from my GitHub, which is mycodes.net. Um, but I actually just want to show you the app right now and then show you the five lines of code uh, that I had to use in order to get it working with Azure. So this is the application. Um, we're already running a game. Um, you get the headlines and you decide, is this real or is this fake? And it's a Tinder style application. And this is all in C Sharp. So you can see how I've implemented this custom control. Uh, as I say, entirely in C Sharp. No components used, as I know there is a popular uh, Tinder style component on the Xamarin component store. It didn't do what I wanted. I, ne I needed to be able to grab uh, the items by their index. Um, the API didn't do that. I didn't want to have to write Objective C, so I just wrote Control from scratch using C sharp. So we have this lovely little animation. So wearing flip flops can give you skin cancer. Well, you know, that sounds like a Daily Mail headline to me, so I think that's probably real. Oh, I was correct. Muslim bus driver refuses to let guide dogs on board. Probably false. Oh, that was incorrect. But you get the idea. It's a simple little application. Um, but the the cool thing and the important thing is that it's using this Azure App Service Helper Library with only five lines of code to get this all implemented. So why don't I show you the project? Boom. Here it is. Xamarin Studio. Uh, we'll stop this running. You'll see that I have this already just an observable collection. Um, in order to get this to work with the Azure App Service Helper Library, all I need to do is add connected to this. And now I don't need this systems collections object model namespace, so we can get rid of that. Just like before, I'm going to need to have a, a client. So we'll do client equals new app service helper dot easy mobile service client, and then client dot initialize, and we'll pass in the URL. And then we need to register our table, and in this case, the object is headline. And then finally, we will finalize that client. There we go. So we've now got the four lines of code that you would have seen in the previous video, but let me show you how we can interact with this connected observable collection. So all we need to do is say headlines equals new connected observable collection. And now we need to pass in the table of that object. So we're going to uh, do client.table headline, which will resolve the, the table for us. And we can get rid of that. And that's it. We're now ready to do offline sync with Azure. And it works exactly as you would expect an observable collection to work. Uh, we raise the events as you would expect. Um, but the important thing is when you're updating, removing, inserting items, those aren't just being put into this observable collection, they're being pushed up to Azure as well. There we go. Britain must leave the EU because of massive blonde haired child. I think that's rather apt. Um, so that is the Azure App Service Helper Library version 1.1.0. It will be released soon. It's in pre-release right now. You can grab it from my GitHub, um, mycodes.net. Probably want to build it yourself. There is a pre release NuGet package out there, um, but I wouldn't recommend using it just yet um, simply for the fact that we're iterating so fast that you probably want to be on the latest and greatest. Uh, and you can find that on the release 1.1.0 branch on GitHub. So thanks very much. I've been Mike James. See you next time.